Hi, I'm Carmela De Luca for Viva. I'm having lunch today with Vittorio Rossi. I'm here in Villamard, where he gets most of his inspiration for his work. So come on in, come and join me. We're sitting here with Vittorio Rossi. Vittorio, you've been a regular guest on Viva a number of times. What are you working on now? What, what's your project you're working on? Well, I'm currently revising my new play uh, called Petawawa. It's, uh, it's a play dealing with the, uh, the incarceration of, uh, of Italians during the war mm -hmm. in uh, internment camps. Petawawa was uh, the main internment camp, which mm -hmm. is a little city now. It's an army base just outside of Ottawa. Mm -hmm. Back during the war in 1940s, it was, uh, it was a concentration camp. So it deals with that era, the unjust, the unjust uh, uh, incarceration mm -hmm. of the of Italian citizens. It affected the whole Italian community across the country. So. Okay, and you also play the character of Tom Celano in uh, Omerta, yes. uh, La Loi du Silence. How did you get involved in that? I was, uh, I was called in for an audition, uh, just like a regular actors, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I believe the director, uh, Pierre, Pierre Roule, uh he had seen me work in a French language film called mm -hmm. Le Sphinx, mm -hmm. and that uh, uh, showed him that I was capable of working in French playing an Italian character. So he called me into audition. And uh, I actually was, I, I actually auditioned originally for one of the bad guys in the film, in the show. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I was aggressive enough. Uh, but he liked my quality and he gave me, offered me the part of uh, the cop. Mm -hmm. I'm actually kind of uh, happy about it because the, the bad guy got killed. Uh, <laughs> the character gets killed in the first season, so I'm still working. Right, right. You know? And you are the only Italian cop in the series. I'm the only good guy that's yeah. Italian. I'm only the good Italian guy in, in the uh, yeah in the show. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm the only law uh, okay. law enforcer okay. that's Italian okay. in the uh, the show. In the show. Yeah. We have a clip. Maybe you could set it up for us. And what's the clip? The clip is uh, where you're making peace with the cop. Ah yes, yes. Uh, this is a scene that. Uh, is uh, takes place uh, day after uh, you got the knocked down. Yes, <laughs> they the day after the, you. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, 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 the actor who's the lead, uh, Michel Cote, he plays uh, Gautier, Detective mm -hmm. Go, uh, Pierre Gautier. He didn't like the way I was running an operation, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 an operation dealing mm -hmm. with. Uh, planting bugs in this uh, clandestine bar mm -hmm. in uh, Little Italy. And um, the result of which he nails me right in the face, of which I, as you can mm -hmm. see in the clip, I have a nice shiner. So this is a scene where uh, he, uh, he apologizes to me mm -hmm. and where I tell him that if you don't accept my uh, abundance of knowledge about mm -hmm. Italians as a cop, then we have a problem here, you know. Okay, thank you. Let's see the clip. Si tu laisses un gars comme Vestelli, une maid guy te mettre à la porte, c'est les squads au complet qui vont en souffrir. Si on laisse passer ça, ça finira plus. Les Italiens, je les connais un peu plus que toi. Je sais comment ils pensent, comment ils réagissent. Et si tu penses que c'est pas un plus pour les squads, dis-le, je vais aller travailler ailleurs. J'ai mauvais caractère des fois. You're the youngest of five kids uh, in a family, Italian family, growing up in Villamard. You have three sisters. How was that like? Normal for me. I mean, I also have a brother. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's the inspiration of my work, not only my family, but even the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know, for instance, like where we are right now, you know, uh, originally, you know, just next door, uh, Nino's Pizzeria is something we grew up with. I mean, we used to order pizzas all the time since I can remember five, six, seven years old until even today, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically the inspiration of all of my work. It's because it's what I know best. Mm -hmm. And so, and there's just so many different angles to explore mm -hmm. 
and not only family confines, because a lot of things are changing too here. You know, uh, family doesn't seem to mean the same thing as it once did, even 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to reflect that in, in some of my work as well. But it's still always, it'll, it'll probably always be the main source of inspiration mm -hmm. for me, this neighborhood, the, the specific area, mm -hmm. specific places like like Nino's or, or mm -hmm. the old Bar Roma or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Uh, these, are, these, are, these are visual contacts you have in your mind uh, from when you, you were a kid, you know, and so they're, they're very important for me. They always have a place in my heart, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Victoria, thank you for being with us once again on Viva, and we look forward to having you uh, maybe next time uh, and so we can discuss your future work. Thank you.